And so you might want to take a detour on that, guys. Yeah, and uh, probably a problem for people who have appointments there at uh, the Med Center and so forth. So we'll keep Absolutely. you informed uh, on uh, when that clears. 744, our time now. Well, a new campaign is urging Kentucky's youth to help reduce violence. Here to tell us how you can get involved in the 2012 10% Challenge is the Executive Director of Win the War Against Violence, Douglas Wayne. Thank you, Mr. Wayne, for coming. We appreciate it very much. Thank you, Bill. Much. Thank you, Glad Mama, to have for you here. Me. So tell us how this works. This is a, a different approach, isn't it? Right. It's really an educational first, another mm -hmm. one for Kentucky, because we're challenging everyone in Kentucky, all 4.3 million, to reduce violence voluntarily. Uh, you know the incarceration rate has gotten high, so we're trying a new approach. And it's been unprecedented, the amount of support and unity from the governor to the General Assembly to the commissioner of um, Department of Education to associations to get so there's no mixed signals mm -hmm. to and, youth. And, and you make a point. This is not political. There, nope. It's not a financial commitment. It is not religious in nature. Mm -hmm. uh, so how does it work? Well, we tell people they need to use the power of their individual identity. That's what makes a person special, make them unique. And to use that power to believe in the good principles and that in turn will make them peaceful. You know, we say that uh, the message to youth is that being peaceful, not doing violence, is in their own self-interest without mm -hmm. being selfish. <laughs> and that's a rare and good thing. So how are you getting this word out to our young people and really reinforcing it with them? Well, it's really funny. The, um, the mayors, uh, we have about 40 mayors who've issued proclamations and mm -hmm. city councils at resolution. And, and with that, it, we, we were able to go into each town about the 25th of each uh, month and tell people, could we, could we really gearing it towards youth uh, and there's one million children in Kentucky, so hopefully whatever we do positive will trickle down to them. Well, it sounds like the bottom line is you're telling people you do have a voice. Uh, yeah? The, they are, we like to say we, we're not trying to empower youth. They're already empowered. They're empowered mm -hmm. with identity, and they need to act what's in their own uh, self-interest and not you know, uh, the signals they get from elsewhere. They really need to listen to themselves and do what's best for them. If folks want more information, a website, or yeah. how do they get that? It's uh, winthewarky.us. Mm -hmm. Very right. good. Well, Very thanks positive. for coming. Thank we you for having it. me. Appreciate and, uh, it. It sounds like a fantastic program addressing an important issue, and we thank you. Thanks, thank you. Coming next, a new intense workout, giving people long, lean bodies by combining dance conditioning and interval training with sports. We'll have more on the bar method next in our health news.